The internet is a great place to find research for your courses. There is a wealth of information available, most of it easy to find and free to use. However, it is also uncategorized with many different types of sources. It can be difficult to tell what type of source that you are working with and if information needs to be cited. For example, if you locate something on a communal source like Wikipedia, should that be cited? Is the internet a sort of mutual brain we can all tap? What exactly is common knowledge and should it be cited? These unanswered questions, along with easy access to online materials, the use of social media, and not understanding the expectations of college assignments, are all things that can contribute to unintentional plagiarism when students research online. First, let's look at common knowledge. There are many misconceptions about common knowledge, and sometimes students may not cite something because they mistakenly believe that it is common knowledge, which can lead to plagiarism. Common knowledge is best defined as information that your readers should already know. Examples of common knowledge include facts like the names of the United States presidents. Basically, if you have to look something up online, whether you Google it or locate it on Wikipedia, it is not common knowledge and must be cited. Another factor that may contribute to plagiarism is on-the-go research. Many students now research via their mobile devices like laptops, tablets, and smartphones. Students can also now easily capture large chunks of information by copying and pasting with just a couple keystrokes. Many students are also used to social media and are accustomed to sharing, posting, and retweeting, often without attributing the original authors. Students may also be used to completing high school assignments like book reports. They may approach college assignments in the same way and expect to complete assignments by entering keywords into an internet search engine and then submitting the answers they find. But learning and research are much more than just finding and recording answers. Learning occurs when we are able to figure out what we think about a topic and not just what others think. Research means to find and understand new ideas and then apply, analyze, and evaluate them in order to create new, brighter, and better ideas. So how can you engage in effective and ethical research online? It begins with having an effective plan and process that includes free writing, taking careful notes, drafting assignments, adding research, and citing and referencing. Let's look at each step in this process. Before beginning any research, take a few minutes to free write. This will help you record your thoughts on the topic so that you can then easily distinguish between what you know and think and the research that you find. When you begin researching, take careful notes with a citation in mind. If you find a promising source that looks relevant and credible, write down the information you'll need to cite it, typically the author, the year, the title, and the website address. You may first find it helpful to review sample citations in the Writing Center to see what type of information you may need. Then take careful notes of the source material. If you copy and paste or write down any excerpts from a source word for word, put quotation marks around them. This is an important step because adding quotation marks as soon as you note the quote will help prevent any accidental plagiarism if you use that content in your writing. After you have compiled some research, begin drafting your assignment. It's usually best to start by getting your own thoughts down, then review your research to determine what ideas might lend support to your key points. When you determine which research best supports your main points, begin adding that research to your draft. Remember, it's usually best to paraphrase outside research. Finally, anywhere you've added a paraphrased sentence or quoted original material, be sure that you include the appropriate citation in the text and that the source you've borrowed from is correctly referenced on the references page. Research on the internet can seem overwhelming, but sometimes these key concepts about academic writing, common knowledge, and learning and following this research and writing plan 
can help you to master online research.